Well, let me point out PET is positron emission tomography, which is a nuclear technique which has been around since the early 80s. Uh, magnetic resonance uh, came 20 years after. So uh, PET is now a mature technique uh, to assess uh, fully quantitative myocardial blood flow, myocardial perfusion. Uh, as to the magnetic resonance, uh, the assessment of uh, quantitative uh, myocardial perfusion is possible, but it's still uh, in his teens, uh, so it's mainly a tool for research. As to myocardial ischemia, there was a paper published as the first author is Lance Gould in 2013, reporting uh, around uh, 5,000 studies with positron emission tomography to assess myocardial ischemia. And uh, it is uh, a, an expensive technique, but it is the best technique to assess myocardial blood flow and myocardial flow reserve. Magnetic resonance is better suited to assess a previous silent myocardial infarction and to quantify the extension of the myocardial infarction. So let's say there, there are two techniques that can be complementary. And uh, there are uh, many papers on uh, infrasize assessment uh, with uh, MRI, and the technique is very, very sensitive because you can detect uh, 2% of the LV mass uh, infarction, and this has prognostic implications. The same can be said uh, for uh, flow reserve assessed with PET. It has prognostic implications, mainly in diseases that are uh, diffuse impairment of the microvasculature, like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, be it primary, congenital, or hypertensive cardiomyopathy, and also in heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. This is still a field that needs to be explored because it's a still an ill-defined disease. We are trying to <laughs> characterize it. Cost is the Achilles heel of the positron emission tomography. So it's a, a sort of third level investigation because let's say in Europe it's uh, in between 1500 and 2000 euros an investigation uh, the pound is now outside <laughs> the Europe but it's uh, uh, around the, the same amount of money so you need to highly select the patients there is no point uh, in prescribing a, a PET scan if you just want to see if there is a significant stenosis. This is not the tool to, to use. Um, it is cost effective in patient with microcirculatory circulatory dysfunction because these are patients that undergo endless invasive investigations. And there is no significant stenosis, so you go back home, but you still have pain, you have symptoms, and this is the best indication for this kind of patient. For uh, magnetic resonance, the costs are less, uh, between 500 and 1,000 euros. It depends on what the investigation is. And, uh, it's cost effective again if you are looking for a better definition of infarction, if you want a, a qualitative assessment of ischemia all in, in one session. So I, I use both the techniques. Uh, I think we have to increase the awareness of the prescribing cardiologists of the limitation of the technique or what you want to obtain. 
they are not to be used as a sh shot in the dark. I don't understand what this patient has. Have a look and tell me what's going on.